Hey you guys, um, how are you? So it's a Francis update and well, you guys will know it's a Francis update cause yes, but today is October 14th. Today's Wednesday, October 14th. Um, I am on day, I'm on day 17 of the Daniel fast today. Um, I don't have my usual lights. This is just my room lights. Um, but I wanted to jump on here really quick to just give you guys a quick update. Uh, the last time we spoke, um, or the last time I spoke, um, on here, um, I found out that Francis has a girlfriend. And it's just so crazy because I, I, I really, I really pray that God allows me to post these videos because I think, I mean, to him will go all the glory when everything plays out the way that I believe is going to play out. Um, but I received one of my last confirmations that I was going to ask him. I was like, you know, Lord, are you sure? He's, and he responded and I was like, okay, so I'm going to keep believing. And then last week I find out that he has a girlfriend. So, but because I don't know, I'm assuming because it was during the Daniel fast spiritually, it didn't, it didn't shake me as much as, um, I thought it would. Um, I did cry a little bit, cried it out and, um, realized, you know what? whatever this is, whatever this is happening, it's going to be for our good. So I just continue praying, praying against all counterfeits, um, protecting him with the blood of Jesus or covering him with the blood of Jesus. Um, I'm praying against all of the attacks of Satan and whatever, just covering him in prayer. And just honestly growing my faith. This is all like growing my faith because um, during this time, I'm only talking to two people about things and I don't even think I'm talking to both of them, like about everything. Maybe I'll share a couple things here, a couple, I don't know, whatever, whatever, like it just leads to at them at that time. But um, I, I, I mean, that just really shocked me. And so today I'm on here because last night I was in prayer and this week has been really weird prayer wise for me because I feel like there's something hindering my prayers. There's something that's just not, it's like there's some kind of disconnect with Jesus and um, worship is not the same. And it's just like, it's just not working spoke to my pastor and she told me it was me which I already knew but um I didn't it's one of those things where it's like okay but how do I get rid of it how does this go away um and if there's one thing that I've learned is that it's gonna go away when it goes away I continue to pray it out I continue to fight through it and God will get me out of it and that's just what it is and so last night oh okay now I remember okay 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 so last night I went to um a meeting at church we had a leadership meeting so we were gonna start planning things out and um, my pastor asked us what how the COVID has affected us and what what's been going on so we all you know had a couple minutes and we all expressed ourselves and one thing that I had realized yesterday was um, as I was like cleaning out um, the dining area was that I I'm holding on to certain things like dishware or like home stuff for my future, for my future, for my future, for my future marriage, for my future home. And lately it's been very much like, like, what's the point? What's the point of holding on to this? What's the point? Like, I'm certain that the Lord's going to give me my husband, yet I couldn't envision my future home. I was like, are we going to live in a home? house are we gonna live in an apartment are we gonna live out of, out of a backpack like what's 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 gonna happen and um I just I, that was earlier in the day yesterday and then during the meeting I, I expressed somewhat like that with everything taking place 
um, with COVID and, and, and just everything, how it is playing out, you know, and knowing that Jesus is coming soon, it's kind of making me think like, well, what, how soon? How, how long is, is he going to delay? Um, should I continue going to school and paying full price? Should I pay like half the price because maybe he's going to come before I graduate? So why would I spend that money? Should I invest in other things? Should I um, just, you know, like make plans like that? And so I expressed that. And honestly, I was more thinking of like a home, buying a house, saving for a house. Um, am I gonna live in the States? Am I gonna live in Brazil? Like, or somewhere else? What What's the deal? And um, as it got to the pastor's turn, he expressed something similar and he brought up i think it was proverbs 25 10. um it's proverbs something and it's about um how we make our plans but the lord is no that was the other one the lord establishes our steps no yes that's the one that's the one that we make our plans but the lord establishes our steps and um as he was talking about planning um for the future in my spirit in my heart the like planning a wedding came up and it just i'm pretty sure i don't i don't think i made a face or anything but i it surprised me because planning a wedding to be honest i deleted my pinterest board i was like i don't even know if i'm gonna have a wedding um it might be like a quick we're gonna say yes I do and that's it I I I realized that I had become hopeless in certain areas and um I had given up on that and to I I just the wedding didn't matter anymore I the Lord got me to a point where it's like the actual wedding it doesn't matter the rings don't matter that's not gonna make my relationship um so I think I I I, don't, I I idolized the rings and the 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 the, the the actual proposal and the wedding a little too much. So I had let it go, but at the same time, I think um, it was also a mix of hopelessness, I think is the word. When he started talking about planning for the future, it's like in my, in me, it's like plan, like the word wedding came up and I just, I dismissed it because I was like, okay, who's going to plan a wedding? Like, my future husband has a girlfriend right now and you want to plan a wedding? Yeah, no. No. And so, you know, whatever. The meeting continued for hours, got home, and I get a message from one of my friends and um, she sends me a message with three girls on it wearing the same dress, different size, you know, different body structures. And she's like, why does this girl look just like you? And she's like, dot, 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 it's a sign. And then as I saw the picture, it took me back to the meeting when I realized, you know, when I felt that, when I received that word, like wedding. And I was like, could it be? Like, is the Lord literally wanting me to plan my wedding? <laughs> How? Like, we're, we're, he has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. So I told my friend, I was like, you know, thanks so much for this because you have no idea what this means to me right now. And then she responded, hey, I'm just a messenger. So I got into prayer. I was like, okay, Lord, I'll bite. I like, I'll go with it. Why not? It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. And the Lord knows that I'm recording these videos. So I told him, how even much more crazier will it sound on camera when I'm letting everybody know that you want me to plan a wedding to someone I'm not even dating and who's dating somebody else. Just saying. Anyway, so I prayed. I was like, okay, I'm not going to ask for confirmation because I, I don't want to be like asking confirmation all the time. So I was like, and I saw um, a video by... Stephen Furtick about the questions. Sometimes we are asking the wrong questions. So decided to knock two birds with one stone. Smart. And I asked him, okay, if if this is really you wanting me to plan a wedding, 
then I'm asking you to let me know what season it's going to be in. And I did say, like, if you want to give me a date, that's great, even better. But at least please give me the season. It's spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, just to know exactly when, you know, what the color scheme and all that. Because, you know, um, I... I mean, how can I plan a summer wedding and it's like, or I, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying. So I asked him for the season. And then I even said, like, if I know you the way that I believe I know you, Lord, then you know my desire would be either spring or fall because not summer, mm -mm, not the summer. And... I just kind of laughed it off and I was like, you know, Lord, just that's all I ask to confirm it with the season. Um, and so I went to sleep, whatever, had a really, a really, really weird dream, which I wrote down, still praying about it. Um, so I woke up in the middle of the night, um, or sometime after, wrote the dream out, went back to sleep. And then I remember being in another dream somehow, but I think I was waking up. I don't know. I just remember a bunch of jamble, like a bunch of nonsense in my head. And then the word November. The word November. And I, my eyes flew open. It, they just flew open because I knew, I knew that I knew that November was the date like the month. He gave me the month. He didn't give me the season. He didn't give me a specific date, but he gave me the month. And he said November. I mean, and I, I kid you not, you guys, I woke up and I was like, what was I just dreaming about? What was, what was happening in that, in my head before I heard November? I could not remember. I could not remember at all, at all. I, I don't know what I was dreaming. I don't know what I heard. Um, in my head before November, the only thing that I heard clearly was the month of November. And it's not like, you know, the when the Lord speaks, you know, he gives you that understanding as to what he's talking about. So I, I was like, wow. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, there's still a little bit of disbelief. Um, like I'm taking it and I'm rolling with it. I'm recording it, so I'm claiming it. <laughs> but um, that wow moment, like that that in awe moment, isn't it? Haven't hit me yet. I think because there's disbelief, um, and I'm praying about him. I, I'm praying. I I told the Lord, like, forgive me if there's disbelief. I pray against it. And so now I am planning a wedding for next fall. November 2021 um I have no idea if you guys are ever gonna see this I have no idea when you're gonna see this um but <sighs> you guys it's October 2020 and I have a wedding date. <laughs> the future of the groom doesn't even know. <laughs> How crazy is that? And as I'm saying this, you guys, you know what it feels like? It feels like the Lord proposed. It feels like he's asking me to marry him kind of thing, you know, like, like he comes first and, and, and this, this marriage is not about me. It's not about him. It's not about us. It's about the Lord. It's about his kingdom. It's about his name being glorified. And so I'm on like I'm letting go of all my expectations and just really rolling with it and um 
I really pray he gives me permission to release these videos because everything he's doing is amazing. It's amazing. Like, I don't know what Francis is dealing with. I don't know what's going on on his end. But all I see is him working on this end. And it's nuts, you guys. Nuts. Nuts that I'm even going with this like announcing to you guys that I'm getting married next November <laughs> that's crazy and of course it's something that I'm gonna keep quiet except for my friend that knows but um <laughs> until the time is right Maybe until I actually have a boyfriend and a fiance to to show people. <laughs> um, but <sighs> you guys, you guys, you guys, God is amazing. God is is more real than like if you don't have a real relationship with God, you can believe in God. Satan believes in God. Satan knows God, but you have to have a relationship with God in order to experience him in his fullness. You have to. You have to have a relationship with God. And, um, you know, I grew up Catholic, like I shared in my testimony. So praying um, the rosary or praying the Our Father and, and the Hail Mary or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called, right? Hail Mary. Yeah. Um, Hail Mary, like, that's not a relationship with God. That is not a relationship with God. But a real relationship with God is a simple conversation with the Lord. But you have to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And God will just do incredible things in your life. Incredible things in your life that you could never even think or imagine. Honestly, my life is His. I am fully submitted, fully surrendered frequent hiccups because nobody's perfect <laughs> but at the end of the day I gave my life to him I gave my life to him um and and just thinking about what he's doing and it's like you you like you I got out of that 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 other relationship and even though things are not looking so good right now because my future husband has a girlfriend um, and nothing against the girl, really. Like, our fight is not against flesh and blood. What does she know, you know? But it's a, it's something, it's an instrument. She's an instrument that Satan is using to keep us from getting married and to keep him distracted and to, to have, throw him off the will of God. But the Lord is stronger and the Lord is going to use that somehow. I don't know how, but he will. And it's honestly growing my faith so much more and my obedience um but yes so that's what i wanted to let you guys know that the lord gave me a month for my wedding date and honestly we will see we will see if no we just we will see i hope someday you guys will see this but um that is it for today uh wow i thought it was gonna be like a five minute video it's uh, 22 now um anyway I love you guys. God bless you guys. And yes, I'll see you guys later. Now it's time for you to see the reason why the enemy came after you. You're victorious. You're more than what you can see now. Be you.